this video, I'm going to show you how to set up our device with our application for stream. In order to use our device, you will first need to install the mobile application. For iPhone, you will go to App Store. For Android phones, you will go to Play Store. You search for a name called Force Stream. Like this. Then you click install. Okay, it's finished install. Now we open it up. It will ask for your GPS location. This is used to identify the device which you have to use allow but you can use allow only while in use and it will ask for the access to your media files which is you also need to allow it or else it cannot stream the music store in your phone now you want to add a new device it will first ask you to turn on the gps which you should go turn it on and then now it will ask you to connect your Wi-Fi to the network that has a sound system. Find it, sound system. Then you connect to it. Okay, once it's connected, you go back and then it will proceed with the setup. Now, choose the network you want your device to connect to and then you should enter the password for it okay. now it's finished now you can change the device name this is the default name this is the some names that we pre-install in here you choose one of them or you can click custom to enter your own own name once you finished you can go next and that's finished you see the name has already changed you can use our device without a router if you're in a location that you don't have a network you can still stream music directly from your phone to the device. First, connect the device with your Wi-Fi. Connect it. Okay. When it's connected, open the full stream ATP and choose direct mode. Now you can direct control the device. In this mode, you can only stream music from the from your phone or from a USB connected to the device. All the online audio will not be available because you don't have internet connections. You can play songs from your phone like the same, and then okay. Controls, next song, previous song, play pause, you can all, it's all the same as the normal usage. When you need to do the factory reset, you can go to our full stream application, find the device you want to reset, and then click on this icon, and then go to speaker info. Go to the bottom and you will see the restore factory settings. Click on it and then confirm. Now it will enter the reset process and you can see here the light will be quickly flashing. This is indicating it is going into the factory reset procedure. You will need to wait till it stop quick flashing but it enters slow flashing which means that it is now ready for you to connect to your network again
and every user setting will be erased. There is another way to do factory reset, which is by using the reset button on the back. In any mode, the power on, you press and hold it for 5 to 6 seconds and then release it. Then the device will go into factory reset, which is the same as what we can do in our application. If you want to use our device in a room that does not have Wi-Fi coverage, you can connect our device to your network using the LAN cable. LAN port. Just plug in the LAN cable and then that's it. Very simple. The good thing about the LAN cable is it is more stable, but it also has a bad thing. It will become very messy because you have uh, another cable connect to it and you might not have a cable, uh, cable available in your room. That's it. That is why we also have the Wi-Fi for the network connection. For products like our S10, you won't see any reset button. That is because the reset button is actually located inside the aux in. In case like this, you can use a pin to press through it and then you can hold it. You'll feel a button inside and then you can press. Same thing, hold it for 5 to 8 seconds and then reset it. This is also the same for our A30 amplifier. The button is also located inside the aux input. The reset button also has another function. In any mode, if you click once, it will tell the device to go back to Wi-Fi connection. So you can set up the Wi-Fi again. If you like this channel, please press the subscribe button. And don't forget to press that little bell to receive notice when we release our new videos. Thank you.